Hello! This video is more of a bit of an update video because things have happened. I haven't posted a video in a while on this channel because first of all I have made a new channel where I've posted the last two videos. It's a German channel and it's literally for my parents, for Izzy's grandparents. So it's called Für Oma and Opa. It's going to be all in German, so it's called for Grandma and Granddad. It's all in German. So if you do speak German, it is um, linked up in, in my channel box. There is um, a little link to the German channel. You can have a look, check it out. Um, and obviously this one is, is more about the grandchildren. Um, Izzy for now, and then of course, little baby girl, who will be born very, very soon. With this channel, obviously, I would love to keep it a bit more about traveling as much as we can. I mean, right now, you know, with the virus and that happening, it's not really, really possible to travel much. On top of that, I am pregnant, heavily pregnant by now. Would have loved to go maybe to Rockness one more time with Izzy, but which I was planning to do with this video, but then this happened. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming at such short notice. At about midnight last night, we, re we received a positive COVID-19 test result. That positive result has come from a male hotel quarantine security guard in his 20s. So beginning at 6 p.m. tonight, the whole Perth metropolitan area, the Peel region and the Southwest region will be going into full lockdown. This lockdown will last until 6 p.m. on Friday a five-day lockdown. It's crucial we act quickly to keep the community safe. Now we're stuck. We're literally stuck at home. It's not going to be long, hopefully, like only until tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be Friday. But um, yeah, I think then I'll just be too far along in my pregnancy to, to really go on an island. <laughs> um, and I should probably stay home. All right. So, Perth is officially now in its second day of proper hard lockdown. And um, yes, I'm in the car. <laughs> We're allowed out one hour a day or to attend medical appointments or grocery shopping. And I am going to a medical appointment. I am now, tomorrow I'll be 37 weeks, so today I'm going to see the physio to hire a TENS machine, so she's going to explain it to me. So that's what I'm doing now. I also have a midwife appointment this afternoon. So those appointments, luckily they still happen, but yeah, it's already in the hospitals. My student midwives, if I was to give birth now in this five day lockdown, wouldn't be allowed to come. We'd all have to wear a mask. Mark would not be allowed on the ward, only in the birthing suite. It's, it's stupid. I really, really hope this lockdown really ends on Friday. And um, I also woke up to a whole heap of smoke in the air. There's a massive bushfire. The bushfire raging out of control in Perth's northeast is spreading rapidly this morning, with firefighters scrambling to protect homes. So far, 71 have been destroyed. Right now, the perimeter of the blaze is 126 kilometres, and spot fires are starting 100 metres ahead of the fire. Look at the sky. See that? That's all smoke. Smoke everywhere. There's actually ash coming down. See all these little particles here everywhere? That's the ash from the fire. It's coming down. Crazy. Never seen that before. Don't mind the way I look. I've just got enough. But um, this is... 37 weeks of pregnancy. So from today on, I'm classed as full term. And this belly of mine is huge. Oh, well, there you go. It's all very empty. Everything's closed. Except for the food shop. There in the back. Coles. All masked up. Um, yep, and we're going to go and do some food shopping now. And Izzy can run around a bit at least. Get some out outdoors time. <laughs> Hi, Kat. <laughs> That's how, how a bird goes in Izzy's mind. <laughs> yeah, 
ready. Now, for our afternoon activity, what are we doing, Izzy? What are we making? What's this? A starfish. We're making a starfish. <laughs> we already made an octopus, and right now, we're making a starfish for our under the sea another one yes that's going to be for the dots on them well i'll show you um the results very soon all right we have finished this is our little starfish and even though no one can tell i still feel that i'm alone yeah you like it let's put it into the octopus where's the starfish there with the octopus leave me stranded i know well very good and now we're looking at a book Okay. Whew. Look at us go, we're all sweaty. It is very sticky, hot and humid today. I already sat outside in Izzy's little plunge pool. But it didn't help much. And right now we're building a bed. It is going to be for Grandma. <laughs> She's going to be with us for a little while. To help just before baby arrives and after, which I really, really appreciate. And we're building her a bit. And Izzy is helping me. We've finished grandma's little bedroom. There we go. She's gonna be staying in here. Anyhow, that's um, all I've got to say for now. And yeah, go and check out my new channel if you speak German and are interested in more like family style vlogs. Um, and with this channel just yeah be patient until we can travel a little bit more um, I don't know there, there probably won't be that many videos coming so, on this one for now but I'll let you know when baby girls is born and I'll make a little video about that but yeah this one I really want to keep more about traveling okay so I'll see you in the next video or over on a new channel bye bye Cheers. Now on to COVID. In terms of numbers, I can confirm that since last night's press conference, the number of new local cases remains at zero. There are no new local cases in Western Australia. So this means that I can confirm we'll, we will exit lockdown at 6 p.m. tonight. Like many West Australians, I'm so relieved we have got to this point and we can get businesses and our economy back open with full confidence. I know this week has been disruptive and I know many of you may be hurting. It was very important that we gave ourselves enough time to ensure we didn't have any new positive cases. We've enjoyed freedoms and a way of life that has been the envy of the world for the last 10 months. That's exactly what I want to get back to. Continuous ongoing lockdowns and crippling restrictions is something I want to avoid if we can. So I'd urge West Australians to get out there and support local businesses over coming days. Keep COVID safe when you do. Remember to wear a mask, check in on Safe WA or the contact register, wash your hands and try to keep a distance between others.